Welcome friends. Today I have my book of the month box to share with you as well as three other books I picked up and the sweatshirt I'm wearing. If you're new here, hi, my name is Meredith. I do all kinds of hauls and unboxings and if that sounds like a good time, definitely stick around, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So of course, lipstick of the day, which I usually talk about in all my videos that I remember to, is Charlotte Tilbury's Walk of No Shame. One of you guys had asked me uh, as far as a video request to uh, do a video of my like five, top five lipsticks for winter. I don't tend to change my lipsticks out seasonally most of the time, but I will definitely tell you that this would make it in my top five year round, no matter what. So love this one. I'll link it below like I normally do. So first off, let's show you the sweatshirt. This one is, says Austin's Dating Service. I found this one on either a Facebook or an Instagram ad. So it's definitely on the longer side. Um, and it says 100% satisfaction guarantee and matching discerning ladies with gentlemen of good fortune since 1811. <laughs> so I just thought this was really cute and fun. I liked the uh, brighter purple color. I thought that was good for uh, spring and I just really liked it. So it is a little bit longer. The sleeve length is definitely on the long side as well but I like it a lot. So it's nice and soft and comfortable and I know I will definitely get a lot of use out of it. So this was a win. Uh, I think it's from Inkwell Threads. I will list the website and the size that I'm wearing down in the description box below in case you are a Jane Austen lover like me and feel the need to purchase yourself one. So I did go um, shopping with my cousins. We had a little girls weekend in Wausau, Wisconsin. So if you're from Wisconsin, definitely say hi in the comments below. Um, it's sort of in between. I live in the Twin Cities area of Minnesota and my cousins live on the far side of Wisconsin. And so that was a, the best place to kind of meet in the middle. So we went ahead and did that and we had a great time. And of course we hit up the bookstore because we're all book nerds. So I did get my book of the month box. So I'm gonna show you which book I picked as well as one of you or someone signed up using my link. So I did um, I did get a free book because of that and some pins, you get points, I believe. So I got some reaction pins. So you can put these on like a backpack or a canvassy tote bag, that kind of thing. So I don't know if I will probably use most of these, but I bet my kids would like to put them on their backpacks for school. So. I'll probably pass those along um, with the sweatshirt. It was Inkwell Threads. Okay, <laughs> I did remember correctly. So they do give you a business card, a little care instructions. Um, it says, thank you for your purchase. And then they give you a little bookmark that looks like a library card, you know, from back when they used to do this by paper. And then a little book lover sticker. So I'll probably pop that onto my reusable water bottle that I have. So that's sort of where any cute stickers I get go. And then as far as my choice for book of the month, I grabbed A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. This is so the saga of the unfaded book one. So I might be left on a little bit of a cliffhanger for this one. Uh, it says her fate is inked in her blood. It's carved in her bones. This power is Freya's destiny. So there's what it looks like. So I had seen this one popping around Instagram on all the various book channels that I follow. And so I thought I would give this one a go. Um, I, I might wait a little bit to read it since I do know it's the first in a series. I usually like to wait until the whole thing is out. I might have mentioned that before. Um, I don't always do that. Sometimes I get sucked into a series too soon, but you know, you know how it is. And then the second book that I selected as my extra book is from Rebecca Ross. Uh, or no, I might have had a month. I might have skipped a month because I didn't like the book selection. Maybe that was why I had an extra book. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that, but it might be. So anyways, I picked up Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. This one is the second book uh, in a series and I had gotten the first book before. So I was like, well, I might as well just go ahead and grab both of them since it was one of the options for me to get. Um, and so I will be reading this series soon. This came highly recommended. One of you guys mentioned to me that you really loved this uh, series and that you kind of devoured it. So 
based on that recommendation. Let me grab that. And then the three that I picked up at good old Barnes and Noble are The Spy and I um, by Tiana Smith. So this is a twin who gets mistaken for her CIA, uh, undercover CIA operative twin sister. And it's her sister's uh, CIA partner that finds her and they have to go on an adventure together. It sounded very intriguing. Um, so I can't wait to read this one. I think it's going to be next on my TBR, my to be read pile. I picked up Other Birds by Sarah Addison Allen. I think I have read all of her other books and I absolutely love her as an author. She has this really great way of imbibing magic into her stories in a way that doesn't feel like you're reading a fantasy novel. It feels like you're reading just a regular book. So it's not necessarily fantasy and it's not necessarily romance, but she just has such a way with storytelling, which is really cool. So Sarah Addison Allen, I highly recommend um, her books. I would start with Garden Spells was really good. I remember really loving that one specifically, but I haven't found a bad book from her yet. And then this one looks like sort of a Hallmark movie in a book form. So this one is called Last Call at the Local by Sarah Grunder Ruins. And this is, um, she ends up at a local pub and she, um, it says over a pint with handsome tattooed Jack, Rain accidentally insults him and the pub. Instead of taking offense, Jack, impressed with her vision of what the pub could be, offers her a job, bringing it to life. So it just looked cute. Um, I don't know. We'll see if it's as hallmarky as I think. But all three of these are definitely, uh, well, these two for sure were in the romance section. And this one, um, I don't remember. But knowing that I love the author, I grabbed it anyway. So those are all of my picks. Let me know if you have any amazing book recommendations. What was your last five star read? Definitely leave it in the comments below. And I'll list all the books and link to any of them that I can find on like Amazon for you guys. So until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. I'm going to be filming a Wantable next. So you'll probably be seeing that one very soon. And if I've already posted, I'll leave it up in the iCards. Thanks for watching. Bye.